hello guys welcome back to my channel yo it's been a minute hey like it's been like a long time since i did like a sit down video and i am nervous to be here i don't know why because i'm just the only person that's here <laughs> but i'm very nervous it's been yonks since i did a, a sit down and the title says i'm going to be doing a diy which i am going to be doing a diy of this lovely table um so before we get into the diy i just wanted to speak about you know the direction of my channel i just feel like i want to include more of the stuff that i like to do i felt like my channel was more uh, very heavily based on you know beauty and fashion only um and sometimes i didn't know what to shoot next and i just felt bored sometimes you know um well i can never be bored of beauty and fashion but if you do one thing all the time it does get kind of mundane um so yeah i just feel like i want to include more diys because i love doing diys more lifestyle things you know so it's not going to be out of you know what the channel is about it's, it's going to be within related within what the channel is about so yeah now that that is out of the way let's talk about my lovely diy hair if i may say so myself um so as i mentioned in this video i want to show you how i revamped this table this area this is where i if you you've been subscribed to my channel or if you've been watching my videos this is where i usually sit and do my you know videos my sit downs i wanted to improve this area this is where i'll be shooting and this is where i do my makeup as well so i just wanted to create like a little cute vanity space so i just started with this table if you remember this table was dark it had like dark painting dark brown painting i didn't like that paint anymore on the table because it was chipping and it was old you'll see you'll see in the next coming clips i just thought why don't i refurbish my table you know and just make it new again so yeah that's what i did guys um very brave of me it's the first time i do something like this i've done diys before but not this huge i made so many mistakes i did get some help as well a little bit of help during the whole process but yeah if you want to see how i revamped this table if you'd like some you know inspiration keep on watching if you like how i did the table the process you know comment in the section bar below even if you don't like it i mean just let me know what you don't like about it so yeah i hope you like my new table uh i hope you like it and yeah i'll see you in the next video guys Bye. so the first step is i'm going to remove these knobs here i don't know if i should use these knobs and just revamp them i'll decide I'm gonna go look for knobs and see if, I, if there are any knobs that I like. If not, these are also cool if you revamp them, the original ones. Um, I'm gonna remove these using my handy dandy screwdriver. I'm probably going to sand this painting. Can you see how old this painting is? It's quite old and it's got all these fingerprints and all these things that you can't even clean. They're so grimy and greasy. So I'm done with removing all of the knobs off the drawers. Um, I'm ready for the next step. What I've decided to do is put all the screws and the knobs together in one place so that I do not misplace anything while I am working. At this point, I'm ready to start sanding my drawers. These are the things I'm going to be using. Two pin plug, sanding strips for the machine, 
um i'm, I'm gonna be using a machine you can hire one if you feel like you need one sanding paper and i've got my sanding machine as well um and you need to cover up there's a lot of dust while you're doing this um i also got some gloves so that i don't hurt my hands or anything of that sort i think this is what it's supposed to look like um i have no one to ask so i just went on youtube and i think i'm doing the right thing i'm not too sure there aren't any instructions on how to put this on but i saw a review video thing and i was looking at the way it's sitting so i think this is how it's supposed to be um so we'll see figured it out I don't know where I put those um, face mask things I don't know where they are oh my camera because now it's full of dust I figured it out you don't have to use a sanding machine for this project you can use sandpaper if you want to I was personally borrowed this machine um, I was going to use sandpaper on some other thing that I bought, uh, which looks like this. I was going to paste it on this thing and then sand away. Okay, guys, it's day two. And I'm going to be sanding the table. And this is what it looks like. <laughs> Sorry, it's upside down. Um, I'm pushing it to the garage. Um... So basically, I'm going to be sanding the table, as you can see. Let me just open the door so you can see it properly. This is what it looks like. That's why I wanted to um, revamp this table. Well, okay, these are like makeup sort of vibes. But you can just see that the paint, it's like all worn out and scratched. I don't know what happened there. Um, I don't know what happened in those spots, but basically I'll be doing what I was doing yesterday, just sanding. I want to take the whole footage um, doing the same thing that I was doing yesterday because of memory, first of all. Secondly, I want to pro pro protect my camera. There was so much dust. I moved the project actually outside to the carport, so that's what I'll be doing today. so okay guys i am done sanding i've even taken a shower ate lunch and all these things i was done with the dust i was done and dusted <laughs> what i've started doing is i've started dusting the table and the drawers and then from then onwards i'm just gonna wipe it down with water clean water and a clean cloth i've already started so my stuff is not clean anymore um i'll show you the cloths that i'm using so for this step all you need is two cloths a bucket of water and that's it no chemicals no anything because you'll be dealing with wood so basically what i'm doing is just wiping the tape the um, drawers and the table with the cloth just a clean cloth just to dust everything off because the last thing you need is um specks of dust when you stain the table it's just going to create a mess and then i take my cloth my wet cloth just clean water guys and just wipe it down and remove anything like hair or anything of that sort just like that done i'm just gonna wait for it to dry doesn't take long to dry the table i did before i went to take a break and it's dry already so it should be ready for staining in a moment okay guys this is what the table looks like 
after sanding it. Got it pretty clean. Um, so right now I'm going to start staining. I got okay. I just got a paintbrush. That's all I got. <laughs> I don't know how big of a paintbrush I should have gotten, but this is what I got. It was in between the big one and the small ones. Don't know, but we'll see. And then uh, the painting guy gave me this. So, uh, how nice. Isn't he so nice to give me this? <laughs> he gave me this and I told him that I want to um, revamp my table. So he borrowed me the sander and he brought this as well. So sweet. Shout out to him. Okay guys, I am trembling. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm very nervous. Um, but I'm going to start staining the table. So yay, I made it to day three. I'm not as impatient as I thought I was. Today, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to varnish the table. Hopefully I finish everything today because wow. <laughs> it's been a while and I'd like to put everything back in the drawers. I had to go buy varnish. So I went and, and I got some varnish. I'll show you what sort of a varnish I got. I got a clear varnish because i've already stained the table i don't know if i was supposed to get like something that has color or whatnot or like a mahogany type of a varnish but i got a clear one an update on the staining this is what it looked like after leaving it overnight um you can see that there's shiny spots which is like the oil that wasn't absorbed i'm just gonna wipe it down with a clean cloth before i varnish I'm going to start by like testing it first on the side because One thing you should never do is use a lot of varnish at a go like I did here because it's going to start dripping and working with varnish is not easy like it starts drying very quickly so be careful take it step by step don't get impatient that was my biggest mistake in this project using a lot of varnish at a go guys I know I should have recorded starting to paint the table um <clears throat> i started painting the table like using st streaks from the um, paintbrush only and then i noticed that um when i used only streaks from the from the paintbrush or just the varnish coming from the paintbrush there are some parts that dry quickly and then when I start painting or when I start painting from where I've left off there are some parts that have dried so I decided to pour the varnish on top of the table and then just go over it you know per line if that makes sense so that there's just one even stroke throughout these paintbrush things. Ugh. So I'll start at the top of the table and go down like that. Okay, I'm done with the top. Yes, this, the varnish is not easy to work with. I guess you need to just do it layer by layer so like don't put a lot of varnish put small bits by small bits um even though it 
seems like it's drying i think that's the only best option because right about now it looks a bit uneven um i don't know when it dries what it's gonna look like but hey we'll see so i decided to get a foam roller so that i can um you know paint the rest of the table with it and it worked out perfect if i had known <laughs> if i had known before i did this and then guess what later on the painter guy came to get like his stuff and he saw my table <laughs> and he laughed and then he started over and helped me out at the top of the table to save me so i decided to get some spray paint um and spray paint the handles instead of buying new ones because they belong to the table man and i like the whole vintage look to them this whole look to them actually looks nice i like it i don't know i actually wanted to go a little bit more minimal but they, these look good they look nice and they're quite heavy they look original as well so that's why i decided to keep them um they actually look quite good after spray painting so i, I went to cash build and i bought spray mate metallic spray paint um metallic rich pale gold i'm just thinking i should have just gotten the bronze because i don't like bright gold stuff like shiny things i don't like but at the same time um it looks like this it looks like this on the tables so it looks quite neat i'm actually quite excited so i'm, I'm already like placing the knobs on the on the drawers i can't wait till the whole thing is finished i'm actually tired of this project <laughs> it's the longest diy i've ever done I'm happy about this say hey, i'm happy about this job that's what the knobs look like i did everything except for the top of the table i got help here because yeah, i found it so challenging at first if i had known i was gonna buy that um foam roller so yeah this is what the top ended up looking like that guy's good at what he does look how smooth it is and then here is that stain i was telling you guys about but i mean it's wood wood stains so it's not a, a train smash per se it's not such a big deal i don't know i guess this is just part of the table's future please let me know if you want some more diys um should i make more diy videos but i really love doing diys so please thumbs up guys thumbs up <laughs>